Hello and welcome back to Thinking About Star Realms. In this video, we're going to be playing Chapter 2, Mission 3 of the campaign. As always, if you have strategy tips or think that I made the wrong decision at any point, please put it in the comments. Now, this mission starts like any other mission, you know, both us and the AI have uh, 50 authority, which is the normal. We have a perfectly normal deck. But the AI? Oh, it's stuck a trade bot into its deck, so it's cheating. So it's gonna have the uh, scrap advantage immediately. So we need to, you know, if this game progresses, long longer this game goes, the more that trade bot's gonna pay off for it. So maybe we should we should probably grab a supply bot to kind of try to catch up a little bit in the scrap race, but you know, our opponent's gonna have that trade bot, you know, in this deck and gonna be able to get rid of a card before reshuffle, so that supply bot is still gonna be playing catch up. Um, the alternative is to try to go aggressive and kill the AI before it can get its uh, scrap advantage going, but the only half decent damage card here is the Imperial Fighter, which it's not the best, honestly, like the Imperial Brigade, I think it is, whatever, the, the three cost one that does a bit more damage and can be scrapped for a draw is probably, you know, that, that would be, you know, a solid card to pick up. The survey ship may be a decent buy if we do want to go for that uh, trade fed synergy, but yeah. Supply bot means that we're kind of keeping up in the scrap race, and the two trade means that we have, you know, we're also at least competing in the trade race to get that flagship. So, yeah. Battle pod is good in that race. Okay, it grabs the, the Survey Ship Imperial Fighter tandem. Um, battle Pod here is tempting. So if we want to go for the Trade Race, the Explorer is the buy. If we want to go aggressive, Battle Pod is the buy. The trade race is tempting because, you know, we have the flagship and the machine base as good prizes for winning that race. Battle pod is tempting because we can then get rid of, you know, the flagship and machine base. Our opponent's probably gonna be forcing us to discard, which does hurt us a little bit in the trade race, and I do want a better trade card than a uh, supply bot explorer if we're going to be trying to rush big ships, so yeah. Uh, let's go battle pod. Now, patrol mech would be great for everything, but we're not getting it. Neither is our opponents. Maybe we can get it after we reshuffle. Okay, it got the explorer, so maybe the AI is going to try to participate in the trade race. But the patrol mech is a just good at everything card that. Three trade means that we can, you know, on a good draw, we can get the flagship or machine base. The five damage is going to be solid if we try to, you know, try to rush the game and we can ally for scrap. So if we, you know, get a good ally turn, it can keep us, it can maybe buy us a little bit of an advantage in the scrap race. So patrol mech is the buy. The alternative would be two explorers, which I like this. I mean, 
the three trade <coughs> and the patrol mech is better than two explorers because best case of the two explorers you draw two of them and you're getting four trade off of two cards patrol mech you buy you draw the patrol mech and like a scout that's that same four trade but you know the patrol mech can come up in, in a hand with some other big trade cards and all of a sudden you know you're looking at the flagship machine base you know if you get like a patrol mech supply bot that's five trade on two cards and you just need like a scout or a you know a scout to get the flagship two scouts for a machine base yeah there's that frigate which you know i'm guessing the ai is gonna buy to you know work with a survey ship and the imperial fighter to have a pain in the ass discard synergy if not we should probably grab it to deny our opponent it you know the damage is solid also yep called it if we do discard the battle pod we can get the mech world but that just, it, it hurts too much. I do have to discard the scout. Bad play, maybe, but, you know. We can at least get the cutter, which is good. You know, it's the four authorities gonna keep us in the race. The two trades gonna, again, help that um, trade rush. And I'm just gonna scrap a viper for once. Because, again, we wanna stay competitive in that trade race and because it, it's early enough that you know maybe the, that extra scout will be worth it get the cutter get a second cutter because why the f not like two cutters are great because you know if you get them in the same hand that's eight damage Do we kill something with a battle pod? Let's see. I mean, it's possible that our opponent can get the mech. It's real, realistically our opponent can maybe get the mech world, which I mean, we don't want them to have it, but do we want to risk turning over something good for them? I really don't want that mech world, you know, the, that six outpost, all the ally abilities. Yeah, that's the mech world. Yeah, got a missile bot, which that's good for, uh, that's good for the AI uh, trying to lap us in the uh, trade race, but you know. Not the trade, sorry, the, the scrap race, but it is what it is. Oh, did get the six for the battle cruiser. What do you know? I can get seven and get the mech, the machine base. Alternatively, flagship is an option, but the machine base just makes everything else in our deck that much better because, you know, it's a scrap. And hopefully, maybe we can grab a, still get the flagship off of, you know, some of the other trade cards we have in our deck. So, I like that machine base. But the Blob Destroyer and the Missile Bot are solid pickups also. Yowchi. Okay, so we can get the missile bot at least. Um, kind of like that blob fighter, just to deny our opponent the synergy with the blob destroyer, and you know maybe synergize with our battle pod. So let's get that. And I'm just gonna get the imperial fighter just to deny our opponent it because. I don't want to be discarding 20 million cards. 
another cutter comes out, but yeah. Yep, discard the two scouts. Supply bot to scrap one. Um, I like the cutters just because the more cutters you have, the more cutters are better. Um, do you like the battle pod to get rid of trade pod or blob world? Um, trade pod, it's not that good of a card the later the game goes, so might as well get rid of the blob wheel in case our opponent decides to go for that. Okay, I guess I did get the trade pod. Okay. Uh, huh. I mean, that is the six we need for the flagship. But I, if I discard the scout, we deal much more damage. And we can scrap two scouts out of our deck, which I want to evacuate the scouts quickly now because you know, we're getting into like the meat of the game now. Um, again, just try to rush this game, I think because I don't like the position we're in, so I'm not gonna try to slow it down with the defense center. I'm just gonna try to rush this. Kids, if you, you know, if, don't be like the AI, don't buy explorers when you know, people are in 20 authority. They ain't worth it. Do we scrap the Viper or Scout? Um, again, I don't, it's not worth, go, worth going for the flagship at this point. We're far enough out that we're just racing for the kill now. If we get lucky on the flagship, yes, I'll take it, but. Uh, Race, race, race. Eye on the apple at the end of the road. Ooh, and the machine base stays up. Nice. Again, scrap one scout, scrap another. Bring out the cutter. And I'm just not gonna scrap anything in this point. Like, um, the AI's probably not gonna be able to buy much. And, like, I don't wanna bring out a good cheap card. So, you know what? Let the AI just flounder with his trade row. Just give its AI more temptation to buy explorers and slow its own deck down. Never mind, yeah, I can get the blah blah blah. Whoop de doo, whoop de dee. This point doesn't really matter. Again, let's just go for speed. I could get the defense center, but, you know, it's not worth leaving a scout around in our deck. It's not worth missing out on the five damage from patrol mech. You could scrap the viper, but I just, hmm. defense center would work well with our scouts. Well, not, well, not so on our scouts, our, our cutters. So yeah, we'll scrap the viper and get the defense center. Ooh. Okay, 
So I think the discard here is the Imperial Fighter because obviously the cutters are great if we have two of them. That's, you know, they're an eight authority swing apiece. The Blob Fighter Battle Pod, it's a draw and two more um, damage. And the Imperial Fighter, I mean, having the my opponent discard is tempting, but it's not that important. Again, just gonna leave the trade row as it is. Better the devil you know. And yeah, triple cutters, that's just a kill. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, like, this mission took me like eight or nine attempts to win. Holy Christ. This is, ugh. This has been the first like truly really hard mission in the game. Just a little bit behind the scenes info. I don't post my losses just because I feel like, you know, if I'm losing, it means that I probably was approaching the mission wrong. Maybe it was bad luck, but probably it was a bad approach. If I only post wins, maybe I'll have an occasional just like lucky win with a really bad strategy slip through, but yeah. With this mission, I've lost enough times that I'm sure it's, you know, this has been good luck, good approach. I mean, for other missions, maybe I've had to, you know, had to have like, you know, one or two replays just because, you know, I got a really bad opening or something. Um, the Blob Marathon mission where um, I recorded both the survival and rushdown strategy for that one. I had to do a bunch of times just because I kept getting really good hands for a rushdown while trying to film the survival. But this one has been a nightmare. And it is now like quarter to nine on Friday. So I need to find music for this uh, run. Get all of that in um, whatever the hell Da Vinci. Ah, hell, I, I'm tired. I don't even remember what software I use, but I have to get it, you know, get this video edited, get the music in there, get that all rendered, uploaded to YouTube, and posted. I have any chance of having this go up at uh, noon tomorrow. Well, you know, I guess I'm not spending that much time with my wife tonight. Remember, you know, if she leaves me, it's your fault, YouTube. I do this for you. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. If you see a play I missed, put it in the comments. If you like the contents I produce or think that you can do better, record your own. And really, if there is some very obvious approach to this mission that I just totally missed, please tell me. Like, I am dying to know. Anyways, thank you. Bye-bye.